We're joined here by Scott Sandlin following UMD's victory over SCSU. Any opening words, coach? Uh, no, it's a good win. I'm uh, real happy for our guys. I thought uh, it was a good team effort tonight. And uh, we it's a much needed win for our team against a good team. Mm. All right, we'll go to questions now, starting with Matt. Scott, how much do you like how your team came out there in, in, in the first period and, and really took control? Yeah, I was, you know, you know, the score was, I mean, obviously scoring was great, but I just liked the way we played. I thought we, we didn't, uh, we didn't look like we, you know, had lost three games. I thought we played with a lot of confidence. I thought our puck poise was good. We made some really good plays. We got to the net and got rewarded with some, some bounces and goals. And we've talked about that, you know, all week and, you know, but I just liked how we played. And, and obviously it was great to get the lead and build on that lead, which, you know, we, we didn't do, you know, in really the Miami game or the CC game and, you know, we made them chase the game. So, um, you know, it was a, it was a good, good first period. It was a good start for our team and it was something that we needed badly, you know, to get, get the lead. And, but I liked how we got the lead. I, I liked how we played. Right. So uh, we carried over, over the next, uh, you know, 40 minutes. Over to Jim. Uh, Scotty, every time the CBS camera cut to you, you had a, an angry face on, maybe were snapping at people. <laughs> were, you, were you unhappy at any point, or was that maybe just a little tough love, even when you're leading 3 nothing, you got to keep your guys a little bit focused? Yeah, it is, because they're a dangerous team, right? And they, got, they, they can skate, and they can put the puck in the net. They got, uh, you know, some, some dangerous guys, right? You know, I mean, you look at Cranola and Mietnin and Brodzinski, and, and, and Walker's been playing well, and, you know, they, they can go on and on. But, uh, you know, again... You know, I didn't like the penalty, you know, um, you know, you give them some life. I didn't think they had any life. I think we took that, you know, that first period was, was good. And then, you know what, you, you always worry about those leads, right? So there was a lot of hockey left and, um, you know, I didn't like our shift after goals. I thought, you know, we need to, to get the, you know, win a draw and get it back in and go after them. Instead, they kind of did that on the first couple goals. So we talked about stuff like that, but um, overall though, you know, yeah, I mean, just keeping our guys focused and trying to stay on them and make sure we're making right plays and, and staying above people and taking care of the puck. I thought we got a little sloppy at times, but you know, for the most part, it was a good game for us. And like I said, the, the first period was, was what we could off of. Yeah, I think sorry. Scott, just a, a thought on Sweeney as a, as such a leader, you know, a senior, you know, getting, <laughs> you know, a hat trick in a game like this. Uh, he was outstanding. He's had a great year for us, Jim. He's been, our, he's been arguably our best player. Um, his numbers prove it, but he's, he's been a good leader. He's, he's vocal. And, you know, tonight it was great. I thought, I thought he got rewarded uh, again. You know, it was nice to see him, you know, get to that hundred point mark and, and be the leader for us offensively. And, um, you know, we, I talked with our juniors and seniors during the week here and just how important they are to our team. And the fact that these guys have, have, have been there and done that and we need their leadership and, and this is kind of crunch time and you know when you look at our, our, our scoring and look at uh, the way those guys play they were our leaders tonight and, and we're going to need that moving forward here and you know we'll have other guys chip in but those guys have to be our, our guys and, and Nick was Nick was outstanding tonight. Back to Thank Matt. you. Scott you said you talked to the, the juniors and seniors for, for a lot of those guys, this could have been their last uh, game at, at Amsoil tonight. Do you feel those guys really rose to, to the occasion with this being their last game and, and everything that was on the line for you guys? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we just lost three games, you know, what? no one's been happy for a while. Right. And like I just said, you know, I just wanted to remind those guys that how, you know, those guys have been there and they've done that. They've been through some of those stretches and they've gotten out of them and, and the, they need to be our leaders. And, you know, again, whether it was the last game here for them and whether you bring that up, I don't know. I mean, I think it was more of that. We lost three games. We're playing a good team. We know we got to come ready to play. And, and those guys did that right from the start. And I thought uh, our team followed. So uh, kudos to those guys. Back to Matt. Scott, what do you think of your, uh, special teams there tonight I thought the power play started strong even though they didn't get the, the puck in the net yeah it was okay I mean it would have been nice you know you get that early one to to, to maybe get one in the net just to, to give those guys a little boost too and you know I thought uh, you know our killers <laughs> you know I, I didn't like the goal they scored I mean it was in the middle of the net I think uh, you know 
think we did a lot of things right. Um, but, you know, again, sometimes when it rains, it pours, but I, I don't want our, our killers to feel bad. I think they did a really good job. I thought we had some good pressure up the rink and we did for the most part uh, a good job except for that, you know, that shot. But uh, you know what, we'll, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep working on it. And, but I think they should get some confidence from it tonight and hopefully, you know, next Saturday, you know, we get those opportunities in the power play that we could find the back of the net so our guys can, you know, a little, get a little confidence from that. All right. Do we have any final questions here? Awesome. Thanks for your time, coach. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Scott. We're joined here by Nick Sweeney following UMD's victory over SCSU. Any opening comments here, Nick? Uh, no, just a uh, good uh, team win. All right. We'll go straight to questions from Matt. Uh, Nick, uh, a hat trick, getting to 100 career points. If, if this was your last game at, at Amsoil as a Bulldog tonight, where does this rank? Yeah, uh, honestly, it's right up there with any other games, I think. Uh, all the seniors are kind of talking about how we still remember that those first couple of games playing against the Gophers, the pack crowd. So it's pretty crazy that um, we've come all this way and it could be the last one in Amsoil. Go back to Matt. Nick, what was the key to the the jump you guys had in, in that first period to go ahead 3-0 on St. Cloud? I think just uh, sticking to our game plan. I think we um, worked all week at a lot of things. We kind of wanted to get back to just playing Bulldog hockey, being, being hard, um, getting pucks to the net, um, bodies to the net, and that's how we scored uh, the first two goals. And, um, I mean, like Sandy always says, kind of just get bodies to the net and good things happen, and uh, that's what happened a few times. So. Um, that for sure jumped us uh, out to a quick start. Go back to Matt. Nick, can you take us through uh, the first two goals you scored there? Yeah, uh, first one, um, Quinny just made a great play. Um, I just was trying to get to the backside of the net. And I saw him on, on there, and he kind of made a good play, just going to the backside. And I'm um, fortunate to just kind of hit off my skate and go on. And then second one, uh, simple, just try and get pucks to the net, just threw it to the net. and hit off a body and went in. And um, I guess as long as it found the back of the net, that's what we're all, we're all happy for. Back to Matt. Nick, St. Cloud pulls back within two with that, that power play goal. Um, and then you're able to, you know, finish off the hat trick and, and such there. Did you sense a momentum change at all when, when St. Cloud scored that power play goal? Was, was there some urgency for you guys to, to get, you know, back ahead by, by three or no? Yeah, I think uh, one of the biggest things we've been talking about is just staying up on the bench. No matter score of the game, time of the game, we just kind of got to stay even keel, stay with stay with what the game gives us. And um, we knew we needed a quick response, and um, that's what we did. I think we came out first shift right after that and had a good positive shift, and it kind of built and, and uh, fortunate to get that uh, fourth one and, and uh, kind of keep it locked up from there. Back to Matt. Nick, you, Roth, Bender, the Cates brothers, um, big night for, for the upperclassmen um, here tonight. Was that the success tonight? Was that, that fueled by, hey, for any of us, this could be our last game in, in Duluth? Or was that three-game losing streak maybe feeling, feeling you guys a little more to get things turned around? Um, I think, honestly, it was kind of just, uh, I guess, that three-game losing streak kind of knowing that um, that's kind of not, not the way that uh, – uh, we want to play and um, we knew uh, we needed to change some things. And um, I think it just started the whole week of practice. We had a long week this week, um, worked on a bunch of things and um, we know that it's, it's tough every single night. And when it comes down to it, um, we just got to do whatever it takes. And um, we kind of did that tonight and um, put ourselves in a good position going to St. Cloud next weekend and um, just got kind of taking a game at a time and um, yeah, get ready for ready to go on Monday uh, for a good week. Any final questions here for Nick? All right. Thanks for your time, Nick, and congrats yeah, again. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with Colby Roth following UMD's victory over SCSU. Any opening words for me, Colby? Uh, super excited for the boys. It's a big win, so just happy right now. All right. We'll go to Matt. Colby, can you take us through that uh, goal you scored there to make it uh, 3-0 on the third and then the incredible pass Bender sent to you there? Yeah, obviously, like you said, great pass by Bender. Um, entering the zone there, Jackson kicked out to me. I just tried to get a quick shot on net. And then um, kind of like a lot of the goals I've scored this year, I feel like Bender just finds me out of nowhere. And uh, 
I was lucky enough. I just tried to get a stick on it and went in. So it was nice. Back to Matt. Uh, were you paying him back on that, that empty netter there? You had a wide open net there and you decided to pass it. Yeah, that's what I told him. He's uh, he set me up for quite a few backdoor goals this year. So it was kind of his time. I thought that was, that was definitely fair. Were you expecting, uh, go back, going back to that goal in, in the first period to make it 3-0, were you, did you know that pass was coming when, when you were going to the middle there or did you see it coming? Um, not really, no. That was I, kind of a sharp angle for that pass we made, so I wasn't really expecting it. But um, like I said, as soon as it got to me, it was kind of in a tough spot, so I just tried to get a stick on it. And fortunate enough, it went in. It was a great play by Bender there. Kobe, what was kind of feeling, um, especially the upper class when you guys had a pretty big night tonight? What do you feel was feeling you guys more this possibly being, you know, the final game at Amsoil for, for some of you? Or um, was that three game losing streak kind of eating at you guys going into here and you wanted to get that out of the way? Yeah, I think a little bit of both. Obviously, um, my four years here have been a part of some great teams and kind of our time to be the leaders there. So um, going to that game, we, we knew that was huge and needed to get it done. So. Obviously, great from great night from Sweeney. That was huge for us. So, just overall, really happy with our game. Do you feel you guys are back on track, or what needs to happen in, in the next week before you close the regular season at St. Cloud? Yeah, I think that's the first step. It's a good step. Um, like I said, we knew how huge this game was coming off those losses. So, um, I mean, that's just the, the first step to go. So, got to stick with it here, and we can't go down. We got to stay up. All right, do we have any final questions here for Kobe? Right on. Thanks for your time, Kobe. Congrats Thanks, again. Thanks, guys. Thank you.